In this video, I'll show you how you can build a random quiz for your Adobe Captivate project. So there are a number of reasons why you might want to have a random quiz in your Adobe Captivate project. For one, it may be a certification that you're maybe doing at your organization where learners once a year are taking this certification and you want to make sure that each time they take the certification, they see an entirely new set of quiz questions, which is an obvious reason why you'd want uh, random questions. Also too, you might want to make sure that the guy sitting right here is taking a quiz and not copying the answers off of this guy over here. So that's important as well. One of the reasons I really like to use this is that I want to tie a random question to each learning objective. So I'll actually create multiple pools of questions and I'll show you that today so that I can draw one question from learning objective number one and a different question from learning objective number two to make sure that the test is testing for the learning objectives in your course. So let's take a look at a project that I have on my computer right now. Um, I've got about 20 questions, but I only want to show uh, the learners uh, 10 questions in total here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a total of, let's say here, we've got, let's say four learning objectives. So I'll put five questions in each uh, pool or each learning objective group of questions here. So let's say the first one is slide number two all the way to slide number six. So I'll hold down my shift key and click on slide number six to select that first one and the fifth one all inclusively there. Uh, and move those questions to pool number one. Now I only have one pool so far, but this will be for learning objective number one. We can go in and actually set up those additional pools needed by clicking on the question pool manager here. And this will open up this window here and I can click on the plus icon to create pool number two, pool number three, and we'll do pool number four there. And you can rename these if you wish as well. So like for example, I could rename this one uh, objective one, for example here, objective one, and we'll just copy that. And uh, I will rename all of these. So it's really clear what we're doing here. And uh, just change that one to a two. And I'll do the same thing here. You can press F2 to edit that. And I'll do the same thing for number four. And there we go. So I can close this uh, question pool manager for now. And we'll select the next five questions here, assuming they were all part of the same learning objective. I could move those now into objective number two. And we'll do the same thing for objective number three. There we go. And then our last group here, these ones will go into objective number four. So, oh, I have some extra ones. Let's throw those in learning objective number one, just for fun's sake here. Okay, so I actually had more questions than I thought. That's okay. So at this point, we now need to create a placeholder within the actual film strip or within the actual set of slides that makes up our project to represent uh, those particular uh, questions, those random questions. So I'm going to click on the plus icon in my toolbar to add more slides. We'll choose question slide. This feature is not compatible, by the way, with survey questions or uh, pre-test questions or knowledge check questions. These can only be regular question slides that contribute to the score of your e-learning course. So let's select random questions and we will add, let's say, 10 questions here. For now, I'll tie them to objective one, but I'll show you how you can change that in just a moment here. So we'll click OK, and this will create those placeholders that we need. And as you can see, they're tied to the different learning objectives. So one by one, I can select these. 
I can go to the quiz panel and I can change which learning objective that they're associated with. So maybe question one, we'll tie it to objective number two and maybe we'll change the score. And personally, I like to uh, change this from continue to go to next slide. It makes your course run a little bit snappier. Uh, in this case here, I'm going to select uh, question two through five and we will tie those to learning objective number two. And we'll do the same thing with uh, maybe these two will be part of learning objective number three. And these last three will tie them to learning objective number four. And again, you can actually select all your questions. Let's do that right now and change things like your even your question pool. But in this case here, we'll go to the next slide. And our last attempt will also go to the next slide. And I can set that same score for each question, five points per question there. So, and that's good as well. Now, of course, you also can work with your questions using the previous scene question pool manager. So let's open that up and show you what that looks like. So here in objective number one, you can see I've got too many questions in here. So let's, let's assume I erroneously put these in here. So these three actually belong to um, objective number two. Now I've highlighted them here, but notice that they are actually selected in this particular objective one question pool. So I can close my question pool manager, right click on the slides, and move those questions to the proper question pool. And that's a, another way that you can kind of work with your different questions. But again, the real benefit here is that you can ensure that every time you take a course, you're seeing a unique set of quiz questions, but also making sure that you have the right number of questions for each learning objective. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.